I mean, this must be fake, right? Hey, what's going on? It's Jens. And in today's video, we're going to test the software which promises to upscale your images by a factor of six. And it's even possible to upscale your images by a factor of 15. Is this really working? Is this improving the image quality of your images? Today, I'm going to give this tool a try. I have plenty of sample images prepared. It was Black Friday and I found an offer where I could buy it for 35 euro. Normally, I'd go with the trial version to test it for free for 30 days, but I say, hey, 35 euro, let's give it a try. I am already a user of Topaz Denoise, which is awesome, and Topaz Sharpen AI. Sharpen AI is actually a waste of money. Basically, the Denoise tool is also capable of sharpening the images, so sharpening is not an option. But upscaling is really important for me as a macro photographer because I do crop a lot. Normally I shoot at maybe 24 megapixel and crop to 1080p and of course then the resolution is not that good depending on the lens you're using. So offering me 6x resolution on a 1080p image maybe allowing me to crop even more is very interesting. So that's why I have prepared a lot of samples. So in the beginning of the video we're going to focus on macro images and then we're going to see how yeah, normal other images are working and what is happening to high resolution images. Let's do it. So as a first example I want to use this image of an eye I've shot a couple of weeks ago and this is of a resolution of 2 megapixels. The import process is pretty simple. Just drag and drop the image into the software and you get directly a preview. We have plenty of different algorithms to choose from but let's just go with the standard. And my first reaction was really, I was completely blown away. I mean, look at the big, large, blurry pixels on the left and the super sharp, clean image on the right. And keep in mind that this is an extreme crop on a 2 megapixel image. So I was actually kind of surprised that it worked so good. But when I took a closer look, I thought hey, it's totally fake. The software makes the original image look way worse than it actually is, just to make the processed image look better. And to check this, I've imported the original image into Lightroom and at 400% you can really see that the resolution is that poor. This means that the upscaling process is not fake. And, and I have really thought when I saw the samples on their homepage, the commercials I get on Instagram, that they of course manipulate the images to make the software look better than it actually is. Okay, now that we've seen that it is a great tool to improve 2 megapixel images, I think it is very interesting that Topaz use in their commercial images with a resolution of 300 times 500 pixels, so extremely low resolution. But what is with our 24 megapixel images? Is this tool also capable to increase the image quality of high resolution images? Let's take a closer look on some examples without any cropping at all, just to see if this is a good tool or workflow when we think of very large prints. I've imported this 40 megapixel image of a mushroom and the result with most of the algorithm looked like a little strange. There were some artifacts and only the line algorithm showed some acceptable results from it. Maybe it's like a little more sharpening, but there is no really gain of resolution. Okay, next example, landscape photography. Let's take this example I have shot in the Alps last year. This is in the category middle to high resolution. And I'm actually pretty excited to see if this tool is able to bring back the detail which is lost due to the resolution. And I'm again really surprised how the software is bringing back all the detail, all those fine lines in the background without any artifacts. And the longer I use the tool, the more it feels like black magic. I mean, how in the world does the software know how reality really looks like? It just got zero information from the yeah, few pixels there and the result actually looks pretty realistic. <laughs> Next example, what about high resolution portrait photography? Therefore, I've imported the 61 megapixel image into Giga and let the software do its magic. And when we take a closer look for me, it's more like reducing the noise, maybe a little bit of sharpening, but there is actually no real gain of resolution. What about wildlife photography and bird photography? Therefore, I've also prepared some examples, played a little bit around with the algorithms and here are the results. I think there is some improvement, the noise is reduced, it's perfect. The gain of resolution is slightly increased. So for me, it's like four out of five points. 
The image quality of the squirrel shot is also a little better than before, especially when we take a closer look on the eyes, but I think the difference is not too big here. What about low quality, low resolution images we've taken with our smartphones? Here are a few examples. And again, I think the difference is not too big. There is a little bit of noise reduction and a little bit of sharpening. Some details are coming back, but the difference is pretty small. Actually, this church image is a pretty good example for a positive result using a smartphone image with the software. When we take a look at the clock, I think the difference is actually pretty huge. All in all, I give it 7 out of 10 points for smartphone image editing. At the end, I'm really satisfied with the results. Of course, it does not work on all images, but especially on macro and landscape photography, it is really boosting the quality, the resolution of the images. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for some photography ideas and inspiration to try in the winter months, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and have a good day.